The Toyota 4Runner comes with a projector headlight with an H11 halogen light bulb. A lot of bulb upgrades don't work very well in this vehicle because they either don't fit or they create a weird beam pattern. In this video, we're gonna swap out your old incandescent bulb for the new Morimoto Two Stroke 2.0. Let's see what happens when we upgrade to LED. The low beam projector in your headlight uses an H11 halogen light bulb. Everybody knows what a halogen light bulb is. They're five or 10 bucks down at the parts store and they have a filament inside. And just like any filament based light bulb, when you put positive on one side and negative on the other, it lights up. Basically what happens in here is the voltage goes through and it meets in the middle at that wire wound filament. When you create a dead short with current inside a coiled wire, it reaches a state of incandescence and that's what glows and produces the light. It also puts off a lot of heat. Now the new LED technology has small LED chip arrays that when lined up properly inside the headlight housing, mounted at the exact same spot, as you can see, the three LEDs that are shown are in roughly the same point in space inside the headlight as your original filament. The idea is nothing can perfectly mimic an incandescent filament except an incandescent filament. But if we want brighter, newer, better technology, we gotta figure out how to make it work. So this is kind of a light bulb retrofit where we're taking out old technology and putting in new technology. The reason that most LED headlight bulbs don't work in a projector headlight is the alignment of the LED chip is all wrong. They're the wrong size or too long or too short or the wrong position vertically or horizontally. Some LEDs have two arrays on each side for single beam one color, another color. And then what ends up happening is you get two sets of LED chips that are all in the wrong spots. So with Morimoto as one of the leaders in the aftermarket automotive industry, trying to figure out how to perfectly match the placement of the old filament in the headlight, we're gonna see how it works on this Toyota projector. The Morimoto Two Stroke 2.0 LED headlight bulb kit for your Toyota projector comes with two bulbs, one for each side on your low beam or your high beam. The two stroke bulbs come with a three year warranty and each use six Philips LumiLEDs ZES chips colored at 5,700K. They produce 2,440 raw lumens per bulb, which is about two and a half times brighter than your stock halogen bulb. They draw only 23 watts of power per bulb and have an input range of six to 18 volts DC. Also, they only draw 1.9 amps of power. When you plug in the LED bulbs instead of your halogen and turn on the voltage, you get a completely different type of operation. Now, instead of a dim yellow incandescent filament that shines lights on 360 degrees, you get an array of LED chips on an ultra small circuit board. Now, the way the two stroke bulb works is each set of LEDs is on its own one and a half millimeter thick circuit board and they're back to back drawing heat from the PCB down to the fan. The fan is encased in an aluminum housing and both is quiet and powerful. This is what allows Morimoto to drive the bulb so high to create so much power yet continues keeping reliability. It's a combination of engineering for optical position inside the housing, brightness, and heat management. We're gonna use this 2017 Toyota 4Runner headlight with the H11 halogen low beam and a 9005 halogen high beam. The way that you do the install is simple. Pop the hood, remove a few things out of your way, and then reach back and swap light bulbs. On the low beam, you take the dust cover off, you unhook the wire connection to the H11 halogen bulb, and then you twist the halogen bulb out in place. Then you take the new LED halogen bulb, figure out the alignment of the three mounting tabs, and this gets installed in the exact same way that the original halogen bulb came out. Put the bulb in place, get the three tabs lined up, push to compress the O-ring, and twist it clockwise. Once it stops spinning, you're good. Now you gotta connect your driver to the factory wiring 
using the included adapters. Note, if you do this and it doesn't turn on, it probably means you have this thing installed backwards. Just flip it around. Then you put all the wiring back inside the headlight housing, put your dust cover back on, and take it for a spin. Make sure to watch our other video where we discuss aiming your headlights and how important it is to both you and other drivers that after you do a brighter lighting upgrade, you have them aimed properly. For the high beam on the full runner, you're going to need a different light bulb. In this case, it's a 9005. The 9005 comes in a kit of two bulbs as well, and it installs in place exactly how your original light bulb came out. Totally plug and play. Now let's give them a shot. So for this test, we're gonna do the halogen low beam and then an LED low beam to see how the usable light increases. The Toyota 4Runner H11 halogen projector low beam is very typical. You've got your main hot spot in the center and it's a yellow color and it's not super wide. Nothing really to write home about. In fact, when we drove this vehicle for the first time, I thought something was wrong with these headlights. When you compare these to other vehicles, they really underperform. At 25 feet, this headlight only comes in at 250 maximum lux. A lot of times you talk about lumen, 1000 lumen bulbs at 250 lux. The two-stroke 2.0 light bulbs create 570 maximum lux. And in terms of lux output, they're two times as bright. I love the color. There's no weird beam pattern or shapes or shadows, no glare above the cutoff line, and the hot spot is high and tight, like it should be. This is a great upgrade for double the light output in your 4Runner low beam. Now when we turn on the high beam on the Toyota 4Runner, you get this beam pattern, which is noticeably a high beam. When we drive this thing at night, the low beams are almost unusable, and the high beam is pretty dang good. This thing comes in at 870 maximum lux with the OEM Halogen 9005 bulb. Let's see if the LED from Morimoto can do any better. That is a massive amount of light. The LED bulb from Morimoto in the high beam creates 1880 maximum lux. What a massive increase in light. I guarantee if these things look good on the road in halogen form, with the LEDs, it's gonna be a whole nother ball game. These bulbs would make an awesome improvement on any 4Runner headlight. If you have an H11 headlight bulb in anything, Toyota 4Runner, Tacoma, Dodge Ram, any number of cars, these same type of headlight bulb upgrades might work just as well for you. If you wanna find out what fits your vehicle or see more review and install videos, go check out our other videos. You can also subscribe so you don't miss our next video and contact us at www.headlightrevolution.com.